Welcome, I'm Rob Froney and I'm about to show you how to take a part, a 3D part you can find online and add it uh, to the KI CAD uh, footprint so that when you view with a 3D viewer you can see the, the part in 3D. Let's start from uh, a schematic here. I have uh, an inductor here and <clears throat> I want to double check and make sure that I've associated it with a, uh, a file pad. So if I look at that, yeah, it looks like I did. You know, if you browse footprints, uh, this came from uh, the inductor library, uh, SMD inductors. It's a 1210 inductor. This is uh, an inductor that looks like it's going to fit my needs here. So it looks like I've done that already. Um, and uh, actually, let me show you uh, the place where we're uh, finding these 3D parts. Uh, there may be other places online, but 3D Content, Content Central seems to be the best place. And I looked up, this is a Taiyo Yudin inductor, and it's a 1210 inductor. It looks like this. So uh, you go here and you uh, download this inductor. You have to uh, find the uh, the type file type we want, and we want a step file. So I click on the step file, and this inductor actually comes in two versions. We want the AP203, and I'm not quite sure how to uh, how to grab that. I know which one to grab here because it's not really showing up on my uh, screen there, but. Uh, we can download it. We probably don't need it zipped. I'm going to see what happens if we download it. I'm just going to download the file. So there's the file, the step file. It's uh, it's this uh, thing right here. We can show it in the folder. I think it's in the downloads folder. There it is. User library cb3225.step. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to add that to uh, to this part here. Let's uh, make a net list and and uh, go and look at and see and, and make sure it doesn't already have a 3D footprint because actually a lot of these do. This one right here, uh, uh, I think it's because they're updating things does not show up. Or maybe I even got something set up right. But now we got the net list. Let's go uh, open P PCB new and have a look at the footprint. We need to uh, import the net list here. Read the current net list. Everything's green, so that looks good. I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to zoom out, put it somewhere in the middle. And then I'm going to zoom in, and there it is, our 1210 inductor. Just for. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to put uh, I have some uh, board edges on this uh, PCB that we're uh, making here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I could probably do without them, but uh, I decided I probably wanted them there just in case. We can actually import this PCB. I don't know if I'll show you that. And uh, let's uh, let's go look at. Uh, at the 3D viewer. You do all three and you can see the 3D viewer and there is no 3D part on there, just the PCB. So we don't really like that too well. I'd like to have a part uh, with a 3D picture. So I go uh, Control E on top of that. That opens the uh, library editor. I'm going to look at the footprint library editor. I'm going to look at the footprint here, the 3D settings, and you see there's no footprint there. So we could add a shape here, but it has to be a WRL file. It cannot be a uh, uh, it cannot be a step file. So we need to actually modify that in uh, FreeCAD. So let's go to FreeCAD. I'm going to use the daily version, and we'll start up FreeCAD here and show you how to import that. We're using the KiCAD uh, Step Up Workbench, which uh, you can install here under Macros Add-on Manager if you haven't already. I showed how to do that in the last video. So I'm going to go directly to the Step Up Workbench here. 
we're going to start a new project and I'm going to uh, show the tools here for the step up workbench and I want to import a part right here so import a step 3d model so I'm gonna go to uh, my uh, downloads folder it takes a while to find it downloads and I think it was uh, in the U user user live this one right here I believe uh, um, let's see I uh, know it's actually probably this is the one I just downloaded so let's open that and there it is you can see you know how it looks on an isometric view really does look pretty nice uh, we could uh, uh, take and uh, color this uh, let's just color this with some nice uh, um, things you can either do set colors or appearance I'm gonna make it kind of uh, gold in the in the middle, and on the edges. Let's uh, let's click these other two, that one, and I'm gonna shift click that one, and right click here and say appearance. I'm gonna set these guys as like silver. So now I've got some colors on this guy. Uh, sometimes they come colored, but this one doesn't didn't come colored. So now I'm going to uh, going to select um, this part right here, and I'm well. I need to in, in, in import. Uh, the uh, footprint so we can see how it lines up before we uh, export it so let's uh, click on this import footprint and I need to import from user share KiCAD modules inductor SMD pretty and we need the 12 10 or 1206 I mean uh, model right here there's the 1206 model I believe that's what it was could look again just to be sure. Um, let's go back to uh, where we saw this, and it said it was. Uh, oh, it's a 1210 inductor model. So let's keep looking. 1210. That's what I want. Is a 1210 3225 metric. Okay, so I'm going to open that dude. And you know, if you look at this thing, it's not centered properly, and that's what I was suspicious of. We can look at here, it looks like it needs to go up some in the Z direction. So if you notice, uh, this little tool right here, if I click on this, it will move it up. So I'm going to move it up. Oh, I've got to select it first, I forgot. Okay, select it. And now I'm going to move it up. So click, 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 click. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to look at the top of it. Oh, it needs to go down in the Y direction. So I'm going to put a, a minus here. You can look at the uh, little uh, um, directions down there. So I'm putting a minus on the Y direction. I'm going to click, 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 click. Trying to get this just right. That looks pretty good. And uh, so now it's still selected. We want to export this guy so we can uh, use it as a uh, thing. And I did this before, so I'm just going to overwrite the model. And uh, save this in the home directory. It'll be the, this user library CB3225CPWRL. And now let's go back to KiCAD and let's add that 3D shape. So I want to go, here it is, user library. I think that's it right there. So let's just say OK. And yeah, that looks right. So we're going to say OK. And then we're going to update the current uh, PCB. We're going to close the library editor and I'm going to go to PCB new and I'm going to go Alt 3 for the 3D viewer. And there it is. How beautiful. Isn't that great? So that has been a little quick tutorial on how you can 
import parts that you find at uh, 3D Central. I hope this has been helpful.